Hey everybody, Kay from Rad Reads. Happy New Year. I want you to have an epic and intentional 2020 and, a, and the following decade. So I've created this Notion template for you to carve out your three top priorities for the year and to associate monthly activities with them so that by the end of the year, you will get there. Thanks a lot. All right, we are going to start with our dashboard. So we're gonna do your name, names epic and intentional, intentional decade. And I'm feeling the thunderbolt emoji these days. And I always uh, blow it out to give me some more width here. All right, so the first thing we're gonna start with are um, habits to habits to break and habits to take. So let's do, um, we'll make this an H2 habits. Let's make it, I'm feeling uh, springy. I've been going with uh, pink these days, habits. And we're gonna start with, um, this is gonna be inspired by James uh, Clear's Atomic Habits. We're gonna create an inline uh, table. So inline table. And this is gonna be habit uh, tracker. Now, what we're gonna do here is each day, we're gonna use cues to remind us of two habits we wanna make and one habit we wanna break. And so I'm going to just uh, switch these. They're all going to be checkboxes. I'm going to do three checkboxes. And this will be, and you can rename these, but this will be a habit to make. So that will be a thumbs up. So let's do shakas. Habit one. This will be, oops, uh, habit two. And then this will be habit to break. And we'll use the uh, circle, habit to break, got it. And now I'm just gonna make these super narrow. And what we're gonna do here is this will be the day. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna delete these. So every day, Every day you're gonna come in and we're gonna create a new day. So today is Thursday. So it's gonna be Taco Thursday. And then uh, if you do your first habit and rename these however you want, but it could be meditation, um, then you're gonna check it off. And that is just a cue to remind you to do the habit. And so what I'm gonna do here, is I'm gonna do a filter uh, that's going to show, oops, I got to add one hidden field, date created, um, created time. So that gives you the date that's created. I'm going to hide this field. Oops, sorry. Hide. Now I'm going to do a filter that says only show me where date created is today. So it will only show me one. And again, there, there's nothing here other than a cue to remind you to make this habit, make this habit, break this habit. Again, it could be stretching, it could be meditation. This could be uh, putting your phone down, not using your phone for the first hour of the day. However you wanna do, uh, however you wanna do it. And so this will be the cues for your habit tracker. All right, that's the end of part one. So the next part of having an epic and intentional decade is to take care of your relationships. So we're gonna add uh, my squad. We're gonna duplicate this just for formatting reasons. We're gonna call this my squad. We'll add another table. And this, eventually this can be a uh, full-blown CRM. But for now, I just want you to pick um, five people who are important to you. So right here, we got five. And then I just want to put in a date tag, which is last contact. Uh, we'll put in the date. And then we'll have a formula that will say if we're overdue to, um, to reach out to this person. So overdue, and that will be an advanced formula, okay. Now, 
let's say the first person is, I don't know, who are you feeling these days? Um, who had a good year? Little Nas X. Say Little Nas X is your homie. And your last contact with him was November 1st. Now we want to say, I want to check in with my squad once a month. So we'll use a formula called date add. Don't worry, I'll hook you up with all these templates. So we'll look up a date add and then we'll do last contact and we'll add 30, which is add 30 days to it. And then we'll just add days. So uh, a month from today is, a month from November 1st is December 1st. Perfect, formula works. Now I'm just gonna add it and we're gonna say, is that date less than today? Oops. Okay, see, so that date's less than today. Let's say our next person we wanna stay in touch with is, who else had a, a great year? Let's say Billie Eilish is our friend. I think I spelled that wrong. And let's say we spoke to her three days ago. December 30th. So you'll see she's not overdue. And then this will be person three, and this will be person four, and then this will be person five. Now watch, we're gonna add a filter that says only show me contacts that are overdue. Overdue is checked. So Lil Nas X is overdue. Um, and then we can add a view that would just say, this is a uh, view all. So we add a view, view all. And then this view, we'll rename that view by clicking these three dots. This is overdue. All right. So then I'll set it to view all for you guys so you can update that. All right, that's the end of our part two. So now we are going to turn things up a notch. We're gonna create a new table. Uh, we're gonna put it at the bottom, and uh, this is gonna be a, a table because we're gonna call it multiple times, so we can't do it in line. So we create this table. This is gonna be master goal tables. And then this tag will be a single select. Um, a single select, single select. Uh, and then this will be a text field called um, status. And then this will be monthly activity. And then we'll have date. So what's happening here is that we're gonna create a goal. So let's say there's, and you, you'll update these, but there'll be personal goal one and then we're gonna have work goal one and remember this is an annual goal so we can't have too many of these these should be big uh and then you'll have like a uh, pro side project side project goal uh one i'm just putting one uh so those are our three uh annual goals and remember they're going to be big so my personal goal one would be to generate X in revenue from courses. So that can encompass a large set of activities. So um, I'll move the state column over and I just wanted to grab like monthly dates. So I typed them in before. So you could kind of ignore what I just did here. But I go back to my goal. And so I'll put in, okay. Um, so uh, so this these would all correspond to personal goal one. Uh, and so each, there's a goal for each month. So we'll do sort by uh, tags and then sort by month by date ascending. Okay, perfect. So then we would add another one and then we'll go to our work goal one. And then I'm gonna go back in and then copy all the dates. All right, so here are our monthly work goals. And then I'm gonna do it one last time for our side project goals. 
and then I'll grab the dates. So again, we have 12 activities corresponding to three big goals for 2019. So that is our master goal table. Um, now we're gonna go back in and call these. So I'm gonna, um, actually I'll do, do this. So let's say our big personal goal one is generate X dollars in course revenue. That's number one. That's my work goal. All right, now I'm gonna do create linked database. And it's gonna ask me for the, which was a list a master goals table. So there's that list of goals. And now I'm gonna set up a filter only show me uh, goals, uh, oops, tags, I need to rename that. Tags is work goal one. Uh, and then I'm gonna sort it by date ascending. Okay. And because we know it's all for work goal one, I'm just gonna hide it. All right, now, every month, so this could be um, create launch sequence. That would be for January, January's activity corresponding to this big goal. The February's activity could be uh, set up partnerships. And so what you do is, and again, this is gonna depend on your work and your goal, you will then fill this out. You could do a few at a time. You can maybe do one month at a time. You could do a quarter at a time. And, uh, and then we're gonna repeat this. All right, so now I want to show you how to keep track uh, of these monthly activities using a bunch of different views. So we can go in and add a view. Um, we'll add a view that's called uh, let's just do like a master view, which kind of captures everything. So we have a master view. Oh, we have two master views. This was our main view. So this would be, sorry, this is a little confusing. So we'll let me rename this main. So this is our main view. Then we wanna go in and duplicate this main view. And maybe this will be um, incomplete. So this would say, we would add to our filter, if status is, only show it if the status is um, is empty, right? So let's say the status will be like uh, set this up and then it disappears, right? So I'm gonna undo that. Um, oh, see, we have to go back to my main view to see it. But see, you said set this up and then that's like how, it, that's like a log basically. So we'll call this a status log. So we have, um, so we'll have things that are incomplete and then we will do the opposite. We'll show you things uh, that are complete. So, We'll rename this and it will be complete. And then we'll go into the filter and we'll say status log is uh, not empty. So this will show us the things we've completed, right? So launch sequence is complete. We go to incomplete, set everything else is incomplete. And if we go to main, we see everything. And then the last view we could do, we'll just copy it again because it has all the presets. Uh, we'll say like uh, current month. So we'll call this current month and then we will just change our filter options. 
So we want it to still be our first work goal. And we want the date. Uh, the date is uh, within the next month. So that tells you everything that needs to happen within the next month. And since it's January 1st, it covers the February item. So now we have a few different views, main, incomplete, complete current month. And I'm just going to delete this master view. And there you have it. So I'm when I share this template with you, I'm going to just copy this over. So you'll be able to do this. Uh, you'll have the three goals set up and then you can track your monthly activities with respect to your three big goals for the year. Hope you find this helpful.